Hi guys and welcome to Maltbox, the non-chill filtered whiskey blog. I'm Andy and I'm back here today with a very exciting video. Exciting for me at least anyway. And that's because I'm not going to be reviewing a whiskey today. I'm not going to be talking about auctions or my collection or recent purchases. I'm going to go out of my comfort zone. I'm quite excited to do it. What I'm going to be doing is I'm, set, I'm setting myself a challenge today. And that challenge is to build a whiskey collection. And great, you might think, I already have one. Well, that's fine. We've, we're all there at some point. But we all started somewhere as well. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to start a video around building a collection that is accessible. It's easily attainable. It spans a lot of genres and it's easy to get hold of. Also factoring in price. Now, at some point in our whiskey journey, we will have started off with whiskies on the lower end of the pricing point. Some people now spend hundreds of pounds on single bottles. I still personally set a budget for myself for certain bottles. I don't spend I certainly don't tend to spend hundreds of pounds, let's put it that way. So you could sit there and probably think, do you know what? Yeah, I could quite quite easily, to be honest, put together a collection of whiskies for 250 pounds, for example. I could do five whiskies for 250 quid, probably off the top of my head, quite easily, spanning various different types, different regions, different strengths, different presentations, etc. But what about if we bring it even further to home. What about if you're starting on your whiskey journey or you're slightly interested in tasting whiskey? You don't necessarily want to land a lot of money on one bottle or two bottles, maybe not even three bottles, because what you want is you want to try and expand and like investigate and explore different styles, different production methods, different brands. So what I'm going to do I'm actually going to show you how to build a beginner's or basic or very approachable whiskey collection for under £100. £100 or under. And I'm going to be doing five bottles. So that's five bottles for £100. It's 20 quid each average. A lot of the people watching this are probably rolling their eyes and thinking, here we go. It's just going to be five bottles of Johnny Walker Red Label. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to go for single malts. We're going to have three whiskies from Scotland. I'm going to throw an Irish in there and I'm going to throw a bourbon whiskey in there as well. Because again, this is all about exploration, finding the styles that you like and exploring from there. I'm going to be sticking to branded whiskey, so official bottlings from the distilleries. Because again, you've got that brand recognition. Independent bottlings are great. I love them. But that's a rabbit hole of its own entirely. What we want is to basically identify with the styles of the brand and basically investigate from there and explore further out into other brands going forward. What I'm also going to be doing is something that pains me a little bit, but for the sense of ease and con continuity. Um, can't get my words out then. I'm going to be purchasing all these whiskies from Amazon. I would point out from the off that I would highly recommend you and implore you to support your local spirits retailer or the specialist whiskey retailers that are out there and very well known in the market, first of all. However, for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to be looking at Amazon because the vast majority of the country and the continent and further afield have access to Amazon. If you are an Amazon Prime member, which the majority of people who use Amazon are nowadays, you get free delivery that's next day. And they basically reduce and have on offer whiskies quite often. They undercut supermarkets. It's that competitive kind of market space. So I am going to be utilising whiskies that are on offer. So a caveat here, the whiskies that I will be showing you aren't necessarily the be all and end all of whiskey collections. This isn't going to be the best whiskey collection in the world. This is a starter collection effectively, or just a bit of a casual collection that you can share with your mates that won't break the bank. It's a hundred quid for five whiskies. So if you've been gifted some 
Amazon credit or some vouchers or some money for a birthday or Christmas, again, you might not want to sink a hundred quid or 50 quid or 70 quid on a bottle that you might not end up liking. So hedge your bets a bit. So this is what we're going to do. So what I'm going to need for this exercise is obviously five whiskies. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a smartphone or an iPad or laptop, whatever electronic device you may need to basically connect to the modern day cesspit that is the internet. We then are going to take £100. Obviously, I won't be using cash because you can't pay Amazon in cash, so whatever. And a lot of patience, I think. That's the third thing. I'm going to be needing a lot of patience. Um, I already have my Amazon account. I've got my Prime account. So let's get to it. Again, just to reiterate, use your local spirits retailer as a first port of call if you can, because all small businesses need your support. But this is where we're going to do it today, just for the purposes of continuity, ease and pricing. So five whiskies, 100 quid or less. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the today's deals for the Prime members and see what we've got. I don't want the phone, so what we're going to do is beer, wines and spirits. We don't want vodka. That's very interesting already. So we're, we're after an Irish whiskey and here we go. A Jameson crested blended Irish whiskey. This used to be the crested 10, so it used to be 10 years old. This is now a no age statement whiskey, which means that basically they're not telling you the age of it. So it's going to be probably whiskeys under 10 years old, anywhere between five, six, seven, eight, nine years old, something like that. This could be a contender and that's reduced from £30.45 down to 22 50 That's not a bad shout. We're not going to do Fireball, I'm afraid. Um, Shackleton Blended Malt Scotch Whiskey. That is a lovely little uh, blended malt there. I've already reviewed that at one point, but I would probably recommend that at some point. I'm not going to include it in this collection because we're going for three single malts, an Irish and a bourbon. Um, there's nothing wrong with blended whiskey, I must say, though. I do like blending whiskey. Powers Gold Label, that's another great Irish whiskey. Slightly more expensive, £23.50. Um, and I think we're already pretty much fresh out. Oh, got Caninvy, which is a single grain scotch, 25 quid roughly. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add Jameson Crested 10. Right, so literally all I've done is searched whiskey, as you can see there at the top. Uh, we've got some famous blends like the famous Grouse. We've got Hay Club, which is a single grain, no age statement from the Diageo port, uh, portfolio. Oh, that's tempting. Ockentoshin, a lowland whiskey, triple distilled, matured in ex American oak casks, so ex bourbon casks. That's the Ockentoshin American oak, bottled at 40%. And that's down from 32 quid to £20.90. That is tempting. I'm going to add that. That's going to be. A little a little different, well it's going to be very different in fact, to so the Jameson, which is a blended Irish whiskey. However, that does contain triple distilled malt and grain as well. Triple distillation is traditionally uh, associated with Irish whiskey. However, as we can see here, Ockentoshin also do that, which is unusual in Scotch. Scotch whiskey is generally double or two and a half times distilled. So the fact that Ockentoshin do it three times which generally lends a sort of smoother, softer profile to the spirit, a bit lighter. That's what we're going for here. As part of the single malt, the three single malts from Scotland, what I want to do is I want to get a smoky whiskey in there, a peaty whiskey. And that's represented pretty well here by this Laphroaig Select. So Laphroaig is a very renowned Isla um, malt distillery. And when I say peated and smoky, I mean it. I mean, what? What is basically done to create those smoky flavours is to malt the barley. Peat is actually burnt un underneath and it's basically absorbed into that, that barley as, you know, it's basically steeped in that peat smoke. That is then added to the mash that ferments, etc, etc. That's what then goes through the stills. And that is what gives you your smoky flavour. It's the burning of the peat to help dry out that barley and basically infuse those smoky flavours. 23 quid, that, that is down from 33, that's a £10 saving. And it's not just available from Morrison's, it is available from Prime as well. Um, Tamna Vullin. Tamna Vullin might be a really good shout for a space side, a very sort of atypical, sweet, butterscotchy kind of notes. So that's a Tamna Vullin. 
double cask there is a sherry version knocking about as well so if, if it's the same price i might go for the sherry version over the double cask now ardmore ardmore is a highland distillery however it does utilize similar processes to isla whiskies in the sense of peated spirit ardmore is a peated whiskey and to me this might actually be a better alternative and cheaper to lafroy if you are starting to enjoy and starting to explore or just want to try a peated whiskey because it might not be for you and you don't want to spend too much money on something that you don't enjoy so i'm just going to go right ahead and put that in it's it's a bit of a curveball a lot of people will probably roll their eyes and say well it's not an isla whiskey um you know you should concentrate on isla for, for peat and smoke well Ardmore is great, particularly single cask, high strength Ardmore's that can be fantastic. This is the lower end of their, their portfolio. It's £18 down from 20 so it was only 20 to start with. However, it will provide you with some really nice kind of smoky, minerally uh, kind of smoked meat notes as well, with a bit of toffee in there as well from memory. I mean, we can see as well, there's so many whiskies under 30 quid. Old Pulteney 25 is a fantastic whisky. Ordinarily, for a bit higher budget, I would recommend it. However, putting something at 25 quid means I've got to cut it somewhere else. And I think I can find something for a similar level of quality and enjoyment for a little bit less to balance out. I'm just going to check where we're up to. So we've got three bottles in here. So we've got the Irish, represented here by the Jameson Crested. Ockentosh and American Oak and the Ardmore Legacy, and we're already at £61.40, which means for the next two whiskies, I've got to get for under £20, or one of them under £20. So I've got £18.60. No, uh, £18.60, that's terrible mass. I've got, I've, got, uh, I've got £38.60 left to play with. Here we go. Here we go, I found it. The Tamna Vullen Sherry Cask, and it is the same price as the standard Tamna Vullen Double Cask. So this is basically going to impart some of those sh Sherry Cask influences. And what I mean by that is basically the sort of sweeter, Christmas cakey, um, sort of like raisin lead Sherry flavours from the Sherry Cask that the whiskey's been transferred into. So I've got that in the basket. Let's get it done. Right, slight problem. I'm at £83.40 now, which means I now have £16.60 left to spend. I might need to change something. So, I mean, the last one we're looking for now is uh, the bourbon. And I'm, Oh, would you look at that? Buffalo Trace. Now, I love Buffalo Trace. Really approachable, very smooth, but it is an atypical bourbon very versatile you can use it in old fashions and other cocktails and it really does hold its own very very famous distillery do a lot of limited editions that sell like hot cakes but for me their standard bottling is probably my go-to i do use it very very often i always have one on the shelf myself because again i quite like to make cocktails and it is very versatile but before i put this in even though it is a bargainous 18 pounds we're just going to look for bourbon and see what comes up to find some alternatives just in case Right, straight away, we've got this Benchmark McAfee's Bourbon Whiskey, old number eight. Now, the funny thing is, this is actually distilled at Buffalo Trace Distillery. So th they make this, uh, so it's made at the same place. So I have had this before as well, and you can already see a resemblance to Jack Daniels, and that's intentional. That will be purely intentional, because as well, old number eight brand. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Jack Daniels, from memory, is old number seven. Um so they've basically done that to try and entice uh, Jack Daniels drinkers, people that associate Jack Daniels with American whiskey. The bottle shape's similar. The branding's incredibly similar. However, it is a very different kettle of fish. This is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. This is not made in Tennessee like Jack Daniels. It does not go through the Lincoln County process, which involves the charcoal filtration, etc., that Jack Daniels does. So it is a very different kettle of fish. However, it's 95p more. And in my opinion, the Buffalo Trace is better anyway. So I'm going to add that. That's our bourbon. Right, I'm panicking a little bit because I've already seen that. I'm £1.40 over. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a play around. Let's see what else can find. I think I might have found a solution to my quandary, my conundrum, so to speak. So I think I might have to remove the Tamna Vullen Sherry Cask, but I'm replacing it with a whiskey that I'm actually personally familiar with that I've had before a lovely dram the Glen Murray Elgin Classic Sherry Cask finish which is another uh, Speyside single malt akin to the Tamna Vullen both Sherry Cask finished 
Uh, now, the Glen Murray was initially matured, I believe, in ex bourbon, then transferred to Sherry Casks for a, an initial sort of match or a finishing period, should I say, of a few months to a year. And that should still impart some of those nice kind of Christmas cakey sherry led flavours in there. And it's 20 quid. There we go. So let's get that in there. Thank you very much. So again, I'm going to remove the Tamna Vullin from this exercise. However, if you do have the extra £2 to spend to go over 100 I would recommend you do it. I really would. Um, you know, obviously, this isn't the be-all and end-all of, of whiskey collection lists. This is not going to be the highest quality whiskey collection that you can have. This is, again, to reiterate, guys, if you are starting to explore whiskey, you want to try as many different types as you can for a good price that provide different styles, different processes, different methods from different countries. I mean, we've got three different countries here. We've got America for the bourbon. We've got the Irish down here from Jameson. And we've got three single malts. I could have done three blends or two single malts and a blend, and it probably would have been a little bit cheaper. But I like these whiskies. I've had the Glen Murray before, and it's very tasty. I love the Buffalo Trace. I have tried the Ardmore Legacy previously, as well as the Ockintosh and American Oak. So we've got to £99.40, guys. We've done it. £100 or less whiskey collection, here we are. So just to reiterate, the Glen Murray Sherry Cask Finish Space Side Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. That's our first single malt. We then have the Ardmore Legacy Highland Single Malt. It's going to bring our peaty, smoky flavours as well for a bit of variety. We've then got our Ockintoshin Triple Distilled Scotch Whiskey uh, matured in ex-bourbon casks. So butterscotchy, sweet, light, a bit spicy. We've got your Jameson Crested Triple Distilled Irish Whiskey, smooth, sweet. And then we've got your Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey from Buffalo Trace Distillery there, which is, again, a very tasty, versatile uh, bourbon there for you. So, guys, there we go. There is our £100 or less whiskey collection. So, guys, there we go. There is our £100, not even £100, £99.40 whiskey collection. So we have three single malts in there. So we had the Ockintoshin American Oak. We had the Glen Murray Sherry Finished Elgin Classic. And we had the Ardmore Legacy. We then had the Jameson Crested Blended Irish Whiskey and the Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Five very different whiskies, very different experiences. And again, pretty good prices to be fair i think the, the good thing about those kind of price points is particularly when you're starting out in whiskey 18 pounds at the end of the day if you don't enjoy it you can mix it you can give it to a friend that might enjoy it it's you know 18 quid is quite a solid affordable whiskey option it really is your standard sort of average maybe 15 year old single malt from one of the renowned distilleries might set you back 50 quid so there's a real jump up so initially personally i would stick to those kind of levels of whiskey sort of like your 20 quid your 25 just while you're sort of seeking out different flavors and if you want to expand and spend more money then feel free because i will be doing another collection video however we're not going to be limiting ourselves to 100 quid we're probably going to do 200 or 250 for those out there that may have started with a collection such as this and now want to expand their horizons a little bit further. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I gave you some food for thought. What I will do is I will actually, because I already reviewed the Glen Murray, outside of this, I'm probably going to swap that with the Tamna in anyway, the Sherry Cask, and I'll review that separately to this little adventure. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe if you want. Um, I'm going to box it off now. But if you're on social media, I'm on Twitter at Maltbox, Instagram at Maltbox Whiskey. I've also got the website at maltboxwhiskey.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.